Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to play original Game Boy games over on your classic iPod. So the one I've got right here is actually the iPod Nano, so the frame rate is not going to be the best on this one. If you have an original iPod, or the iPod 4G, or the iPod Video, one of those ones, um, it should actually work quite well. Um, this one, it probably will be a bit laggy, but I will show you guys how to do it anyway. So what you want to do, go and get your iPod, make sure you go and connect it to your PC using the 30-pin connector, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so once you're over on your computer, I will leave a link to the iBoy Game Boy emulator for iPod in the description of this video. It's actually on SourceForge and what we want to do is just click the green download button right here. So what that's going to do is just begin downloading it. So we just have to wait five seconds and then it should just download the zip file for us. So once we've got the zip file, it's a fairly small file, we can just go to our downloads folder and find it in there. We also need some original Game Boy ROMs. So as you can see, I've got Pokemon Red, I've got Mario Land, I've just got a few games on here and they're in my ROMs folder. So what we need to do with the emulator, get the zip file, right click it and just select extract here. It's then just going to put it into this folder. We can just get our ROMs folder and just drag and drop them inside. Okay, so now you can go into the source folder. You can actually put your um, ROMs wherever you want, really. I guess I'm just going to leave mine like this in the ROMs folder. So what we want to do, just get iBoy and just drag and drop that onto the root of your iPod. So I'm just going to wait for this to copy across. It shouldn't take too long, but make sure it's on the root so you can see calendar, contacts, and notes. Don't put it inside of the Rockbox folder. Um, so just wait for this to copy across, and then I will show you how to launch up the games once it's done. So once you're back off your computer and you're over on your iPod, what we actually want to do is just scroll up to Files. So it's the top option right here, and what we can do is just press Enter to go onto that. And now once we're on Files, we can go onto the iBoy folder and press on Enter. And now we can go down to ROMs and press Enter to open up ROMs. And then as you can see, this is where all of our games will be. So what we can do is pretty much just pick any game you want and you can just press enter on it and it should launch up. So let's try Super Mario Land first. Let's press the enter button and the game should actually load up. So for some reason, the exposure when I'm like looking at this with the camera is really bad, um, but you can actually see it a bit. I'm just going to try and like play some gameplay real quick. Let's just start it. Okay, so right now I'm actually playing it, but as you can see, the screen looks pretty bad. But um, basically what you can do, you can press the middle button for jump, and um, you can move left and right. It's actually like quite hard to play, so as you can see, I can just jump over that. I don't know why the screen kind of goes like this, but this is emulating Game Boy games. Keep in mind, I'm using the second generation iPod Nano, so I don't know if this is a bit bad. Maybe it works better on the other iPods. I think what we should do now is test out Pokemon. So if you want to switch ROMs, turn it off at the top, or just put it on hold, and then take it off hold, and then obviously we can just go down to quit and then what we can do is actually load up another game so let's try Pokemon Red version let's see what this loads like so yeah, yeah they all seem to load uh, kind of like this weird sort of like screen I don't know why the colors aren't quite right there must be some kind of option to change maybe um, I'll have a look in the settings in a minute but as you can see Pokemon Red loads and um, you can see we've got like the gameplay on here they don't seem to run too bad um, they run at like a decent speed it just seems to be the image quality that just looks a bit strange um, especially on my camera it's picking up even worse there you go, Pokemon Red um, looks pretty weird. But yeah, I'll try and change some settings right now and let's have a look. So if we turn it off, what we can actually do, turn it back on. We can go down into the options right here and press enter. And there's pretty much everything you've got on here. So you've got volume, sound. So yeah, pretty weird, but this is the emulator. As I said, it probably works a lot better on other iPods. If you have the iPod video, it will probably work really well on that. It's just because I'm using the iPod Nano, it just looks kind of weird. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.